gosh, I'm late. I hate being late, even if it's just for a minute. I was so busy. Like, my debt, you should see my desk. It's ridiculous. So, hey, everybody. <laughs> it's, it's Mary Ellen from Create With Me. <clears throat> I'm still down here in Florida, and uh, this is my last week here, so then I'll be heading back home to the nest. So, chime in, let me know you're here, and and uh, let me know uh, what you're drinking this morning. I've got my my beach cup. I, I keep forgetting where my camera is. There's my little beachy beachy cup. It keeps my coffee warm. Let me know you're here because remember the card that I create um, for Emmy's Three C's. I always um, give it away, so I always send it in the mail, and you get the um, hi, Rose Ellen. How are you? Hey. Oh, Vita, you're down here in Florida, so I sent you a message, I think. Maybe I didn't, so I'm not going to worry about getting you your stuff because I forgot you were in Florida, too. Um, I started to say something. I don't know what I was saying. I get so distracted. I'm so terrible. Hi, Gail. I'm so glad you're coming to class. I talked to Eva last night, so um, in April on the 7th, I'm going to start um, in-person classes. Hear this, Luann. I hope that you can come. So I'm going to start uh, back with my forget-me-not uh, card keeper class. And um, that's on April 7th in the nest. And I've got two um, different times. So if you're local to uh, the Champaign-Urbana, St. Joe area, I'd love to have you um, join me. Hi, Jan. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mary Jo. Rachel. Eva, good morning. Good to see you. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Jane Ann. I don't usually get to see you on here. I'm happy to see you. Oh my gosh, you guys. So <laughs> I'm not kidding you when I say I'm flying by the seat of my pants. Does that surprise you? I don't think it does because you know me. But you know what? We can make something super creative and we're going to have a lot of fun today. So um, first thing I want to do is show you my cohort, Betsy Kreider who lives in Pennsylvania, you know, we team up and we do a class together, a virtual class. And um, she sent me the cards for this month because we alternate months and we're using welcoming window, which by the way is staying in the catalog. So I'm super happy about that. And um, she sent me the cards. They're adorable. Do you want to see them? Let me know if you want to see them. I might wait. Maybe you don't want to see them. Oh, good. I got some cards coming. You have cards coming, too. I, well, card. I sent you a card. No money in it, though. Um, I'm going to take you down to my desk and show you. I, I'm just going to show you. Maybe you don't want to see them, but who doesn't want to see pretty cards? So, All right. So here are the cards for this month at home. Welcoming window. Um, here's a Mother's Day. But, of course, you've got the stamp set, so you get to change out the... Um, uh, greeting if you don't have um, a mom or you don't have someone that you call mom um, that look how beautiful this card is isn't that gorgeous look at this can you see the dimension I mean everything's popped up and so beautiful then this is probably my favorite I know it's probably the simplest one but I love this I love the color um, I love just a little window and I love the pot of greenery I love greenery so speaking of greenery Gail the plants that you gave Abigail, they are going crazy. I keep telling her to send a picture because um, she's having such a ball with it. So thank you for, thank you for um, passing your succulents on to her. Um, and then here's the last card. And um, this uses two items that are going bye-bye. So we're going to use the paper from the Boho Suite because we just love that blue. And then the little kitty from uh, Grace's Garden, the um, I'm trying to think. It's not Grace's. It's uh, Garden Gateway. The Garden Gateway dies are retiring. So, um, but we're going to cut this little kitty for you. So aren't they pretty? I think they're so gorgeous. And I don't know. Can you see like there's dimension? See the wood background? This is retiring. I know it's retiring, but that's okay. It doesn't retire right this minute. So um, this has got dimension. The little shutters are all popped up. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Italy, so maybe that's why I like it. And then this one's got dimension, too. It's got the little brick. So that's the at-home cards. They are awesome. Okay, so then um, today I'm going to kind of... Oh, let me let me backtrack a little bit. So 
um, if you didn't see it or if you don't know or if you're living under a rock, we have a new catalog coming out in um, May. So the retired list just came out um, two days ago. And yesterday I did a walk through the catalog. So you can go to Create With Me on Facebook and you can look for that um, video or you can look on YouTube. I haven't uploaded yet, but I'll do that here today. Um, here in the next day or two, you can look at that. But you can see it on my, um, you can see it on my uh, Facebook page, Create With Me. So um, I did a walk through, showed everything that was retiring and a lot of things were on sale and some of the dyes are up to 75% off. So you don't wanna miss out on that um, if you're interested in um, dyes or some of the stamp sets are 20% off, maybe even 40, I can't remember. But accessories, ribbon, lots of sales. Not everything's on sale, but lots of sales. So. Um, you definitely want to take advantage of that. I'll post my, um, here, I'll just put it up now. Here's my uh, website and the host code. I'll put it up now and then I'll put it up later at the end. Um, so you can just snag a snapshot or write that down quickly. Um, I have that open. So if you want to go on and um, see, I also send an email to anyone who's on my email list. I sent you the uh, PDF file of all the things that are retiring. So Go in your mailbox and look for that. So I'm going to take that down right now. And then we'll go back to my desk. And we're going to do a really cute card. But we're kind of going to do it together. So this is this is the way it is. Because I'm in Florida, um, I had this great idea. And I got the dies cut. And I got the pieces cut. And then I went to look for the stamp set. And I thought, you, duh. You didn't bring every stamp set with you. I brought most of them mini catalog but I didn't bring the annual and this stamp sets in the annual catalog and it is staying over so I kind of winged it pulled out some other sets let me show you what I did but this is not the card we're making because after I got it done I thought well I wanted to have you know the little pieces of chocolate here so I'm going to have to add that um and I would have had you know the words from the chocolate set but let me show you, this is the card, this is the card style that we're gonna do. So when you open it, this little piece inside moves. See how it's moving? So it says, just wanted to send some chocolate thoughts your way. And then I would add um, probably, I'm thinking I'm gonna add thinking of you. I thought about get well soon because this would be cute for Get Well Soon, but I think thinking of you would be a little broader. So isn't that cute? This is what we're going to do today, but we're going to do a totally different style. So I'm going to show you how to do this movement. Just wanted to send some chocolate thoughts your way. I'm going to show you how to do that movement. So you might want to grab a pen. Hi, Abby. There's my Abby. Um, you might want to grab a pen and a paper to take some notes of the different um, elements, okay? So I will try, um, I'm not always great about it because right as soon as we're done, um, my husband just left to get bait and we're gonna go um, kayak fishing. We're gonna go try to catch some fish to bring home to um, fry. So anyway, this is the style, but we're gonna do a card and I haven't made it yet, but I have all the pieces, okay? Because this is, this is how I rock and roll. And I hope that that's okay with you. Um, I die cut some of them and I hope that's okay with you because um, that's how creativity works, right? So sometimes you get an idea and then um, the what DSP is that pink piece? That's from this. So I'm going to show you the back and then you'll know, right? From the seaside, the friends are like seashells stamp set, but I, I only brought this piece because I used it in... Um, I used it in club and I only brought this piece and I needed more, but this is the only one I had. So anyway, so what I was saying was creativity is like that, right? So I, I cut all the pieces for the chocolate card and I was like, no, I got a better idea. So let's see if it works. Okay. So first I'm going to start, um, I'm going to start by telling you, um, let me pull some of the pieces out. We're going to start with the basics of the die cutting of the card. So the card that um, I'm doing is 11 by four and a quarter standard card, but this is what we call, I call this a hot dog, a hot dog fold. Um, one that's like this, 
like Betsy's card, I'd call hamburger fold. So um, hot dog fold. So we're going to start with this. And I like to bring my, um, I got a little piece of paper in my cutter. I like to bring, when I get this, this is pretend this isn't die cut yet. Actually, I've got one right here. So I like to go ahead and score it at five and a half. Normally I wouldn't do that, but because I am going to cut the circle, I want to have a reference here. So here's my reference point. There's my half point. I want my, um, you know, here I did the heart. Here I'm doing a circle. I want this to be about um, an inch down from the fold, okay? About an inch down from the fold. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Then I'm going to, um, I've got my piece that I'm going to go on front. I've got a piece that's going to go inside. And after I cut this, so here it is cut, I go ahead and layer, the, pretend this doesn't have a cut in it. I go ahead and layer it like I want it. I would have this upside down. And then I would drop this circle back in here and run it through my cutter again because I need all these layers to be, um, I need all these layers to be in the exact same place and you'll see why here in a minute or you probably can figure it out. Okay, so that's my first thing. This will be my outside layer. This will be the inside layer, okay? So you'll need that. Then this was an extra, I believe. All right. Then your mechanical piece, you're just going to need a strip. It doesn't matter how long. It has to be at least, oh, I'd make it at least six inches long, maybe a little bit longer. Um, I made mine two inches wide because I'm going to have it go. I want to have a little showing on the outside, um, but I want, um, I want it to stay within those parameters. So same here. So I stayed about two inches. I did a two inch piece. I'm going to score that on the end, get my cutter out of the way, at three quarters of an inch. I know I, I'm terrible because this cutter is so long. Three quarters of an inch, I'm going to score, okay? Only on the um, whatever piece is going to be your mechanical piece, three quarters of an inch. Now I'm going to take my designer series paper, and this is um, from the art gallery paper. So this is just a... Um, kind of a um, paintbrush paper and I'm going to use my glue on the back and I'm gluing this onto my white paper. This again is we're going to be cutting some of this off. Gluing it right up to that um, score. Okay. We're going to be cutting it off but we won't know where yet. Now I'm going to bring in my inside. This one I scored, but I scored it before I cut it. So let me see. Okay, let me get my bone folder. Have I lost anyone yet? Let me see. What Ab is Abby having parties? Probably. That's why I don't hear from them. They're probably having parties. I'm bummed about all the punches. Yes, we have a lot of um, punches going. Um, if you're not sure what, go take a look. Okay, so now I'm going to um, take my fold here. This fold is this edge here, okay, is going to lay right along this fold. So what I do is I just kind of put it in place. I want to make sure I'm on equidistance on either side of the circle. I'm going to add some liquid glue just to the flap the tab and that's going to go right there and I like liquid glue for this because then I have some wiggle room in case I'm not equal I can kind of move it from side to side you know what I'm saying there following intently okay wonderful <laughs> Vita you'll have to let me know when you're back so I can um, drop off your um, projects I told you that you could pick up or maybe I didn't even send you a message I don't remember but so see what's happening here. So this is this is our mechanics. Can you see that moving? Okay, so now we can close it and we can cut this off. I'm just going to use my scissors. We can cut this off right at the base of the card. Okay. Now, 
I've got a layer that I'm going to be putting in that is a little shorter. So I'm going to actually cut, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm cutting another oh eighth of an inch off, okay? Because I don't want it to stick out past my layer when this goes in, all right? So, okay, so here we go for that. Now, um, what you're going to do is you're going to open this up. And then I've taken two strips, and these are strips that have come off when I've um, been cutting. Let me just make sure I'm on there. Okay. And I'm going to make a track. So I'm going to make a small track just to keep this paper moving inside and to keep my paper off of that so it does go smoothly. So this is... Um, just it just helps just a little I only want to go a little bit above and I don't have to go tight to it I can lay back a little bit I just want to go a little bit maybe a quarter of an inch above where my designer series paper is when my card is open okay so now that will follow that track and keep it kind of lined up um, again I'm gonna go back I'm gonna take my snip so I can get in there I want to back this off. I don't want it all the way to the edge. I got a little bit too much glue. Hopefully that won't show. It might show. You're going to do better than me. Okay. Hold on. I can get that off. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Okay. That's not too bad. All right. Now, same thing here. I'm going to back that off a little, give it a trim. I just want a little bit of a track for that to go in. Okay, let me get these out so you're not confused by my scraps and stuff. Okay, then you are going to um, slip this inside. So see how this is going to cover all that, and then this is going to slip inside. So you're seeing how that's working? <laughs> you use your rear... Yeah, I use my ribbon scissors for everything. It's terrible. Um, I am so bad about that. Now, when you're gluing, do not glue inside here. Do not glue down here. You want to glue up at the top, down the sides, but not in any part that's going to move, right? Okay, so you're going to slip this up, slip this inside, and then lay this down. Okay, now you could decorate this however you want. I'm going to um, add a little ice cream cone here in a second. So now there's my track, okay? There's my little piece. Hey, so far so good. I should probably not say anything because it'll probably go all, it'll go to hell in a handbasket right now. All right, now I'm going to add my DSP. I can add glue all over to the front. I've got a couple tips of a couple things here to still show you, so don't let me lose you. There are ribbon scissors. No, we used to have ribbon scissors. Um, these used to be um, Stampin' Up. See Stampin' Up's on there. They, we love. I love these. I have, I don't know how many pair. I love them. But they stopped selling them, so I keep them, of course. And I am terrible about it. I actually gave them to my husband when he was cutting screen here. So now I, um, I cut this, uh, cut the same size circle out and then cut the scallop to give myself a frame. And I'm going to frame my um, circle. So this, this is just one more element. Okay, I'm going to frame my circle. These are probably, you could do a lot better, but I'm on limited supplies here. The colors aren't fantastic, but just forgive me for that. But hopefully you'll get the um, the whole element. Now I found the word happy. Okay, so I'm going to put happy right across here. And I use the, the um, Art Floral DSP, okay? And I cut a whole bunch of white. You're going to probably wonder why I cut white. But the reason I did that is because I want to... Um, stack these and have a little thick element. So my designer series paper is on the thin side, right? So I'm going to um, 
I didn't do this in advance. I did it for the chocolate. Let me see if you can see it on the chocolate. No, it's thick. So there's four layers. Yeah, there's four layers right there of the paper. So I'm going to lay that down. So what that is, is like, um, just gives you some, when you're using the designer series paper, then it's just giving you some heft to it. Okay. You can do as many layers and make it as thick as you want. So maybe it's something you didn't think about. I didn't think about it. You could also offset it and get... So see what it's doing? It's building up, building up. Have you guys ever done this? Just makes your element pop out and makes it a little um, meat beefier. Don't worry about this sticking out. I'm going to trim that off. I'm going four layers thick. Pat, pat, pat. Last layer. And then I'll trim it and we'll attach it. But this doesn't have to be words on this element. I don't think I can go down there. This could be a die cut. Any kind of uh, die cut could be here instead, but I'm gonna use the words happy. Okay, now I'm going to trim off my excess. Okay, get rid of this. It's a distraction. <laughs> There's my trash right there. Okay. So we've got happy. We've got a nice hefty happy. We only want blue on the edges, so we want this edge of the Y and this edge of the H. <laughs> Look at my hand. See where all the pieces are? <laughs> Surprise! Now, I haven't shown you the stamping on the inside because there is a little trick to that. Okay. Getting rid of those little pieces. Okay, we're going to add a little birthday. Just going to cut that off. And flag it. Definitely need some... Um, Gems, right? Whoops, I just went flying. Let's do these. Take your pick tool, add some bling, because what's a birthday without bling? Wait, I just took the I took the uh, paper right off. So you always have the hardest time setting these. I need more. It needs more. And you can't stop with four. I'm just looking at it, trying to decide. How about one right here? Okay. So there's our happy birthday. Okay. Don't forget to wink. Oh, okay. Thank you. I like to listen. I'm going to make sure this isn't that red one. Should we put wink on here? Kelly loves wink Estella. Who doesn't? You can't really see it, but when you get this card in the mail and I do my random comment generator, remember, I do a comment generator and I mail this card to you. You might be like, I don't want that card. Hopefully, hopefully you'll like it for just the, um, the idea. Happy birthday. And then um, I like to take a pencil. You know me and mechanical pencils. Make a little pencil mark. So I know that I... See what I'm doing there? The, what gems are those? Those are the Artistry Bloom sequins. Here's the, here's the deets on that. Artistry Bloom sequins. This is the little package that I had in my um, product share. So Artistry Bloom sequins. Speaking of product shares, watch for one coming soon. Uh, when the new catalog, when as soon as I can um, see it and order it, then I'll be setting one up for you. So I know a lot of you like that.
So I use my mechanical pencil and I know I have to keep my words. I'm going to say happy birthday, you're so cool. And I'm going to stamp with um, Melon Mambo. So now it's happy birthday, you're so cool. Of course, erase your pencil mark, don't leave that. And we need an ice cream cone on there. So I want to show you a tip. You probably have seen this, but I'm going to show you anyway. Have you seen this tip um, of stamping punch? your um here's the ice cream cone you're gonna punch your punch this is my template i'm gonna lay it on my paper and now i know exactly where to stamp so i'm gonna start with the cone and crushed curry this way i can only um yeah rachel always gets product share she loves it um you can always she'll she'll talk to you about it right Rachel? you can tell them how great it is not to toot my own horn I'm going to just say it's nice having all those products, though. Um, then I'm going to do chocolate ice cream. I decided I was in the mood for chocolate. I, I tried it two or three different um, strengths. I like it full strength. It's chocolatey. And then you're going to stamp right inside there, inside your pattern. I'm a little off, but you'll see what happens now. I'm going to stamp my um, waffle cone here while I've got it. So see, I'm stamping in cinnamon cider. So I used crushed curry, cinnamon cider, uh, early espresso. And on that note, I'm gonna get some, get some coffee. Hi, Jen. Okay, so now see what happens. You can um, punch that in one punch. Because you used the template, you can punch that in one punch. It's kind of dark, so I can't really add sprinkles. I'd really like to add sprinkles, but I need to pop this up. I need to just make sure I'm not going in my circle because then you're going to see it on the front of the card. So let's see if we can kind of place it here. I think if we place it here, you can, you guys will do a lot better with your stamping. And if I if I come up with a better idea um, before I send out the card, I'll, I'll do that. But uh, this is what I got today. So staying outside that circle. Okay, so there's my little ice cream cone. Add Wink Estella. I did right here on the happy. Thanks, Bonnie. Happy birthday. You're so cool. So what do you think? Okay, and here's this one, and I'm going, when I get home, I'm adding chocolate. I had the little die here. I was going to, yeah, here's the die. I, I was all excited. I got the die out. I was going to add chocolate to this. No, I don't have the chocolate stamp set with me. Just wanted to send some chocolate thoughts your way, and then I think I would finish that with a thinking of you, which I haven't done yet. I ran out of time. That's why I was a few minutes late. So there's the two mechanical, um, uh, oops, that's wrong. Don't look at that. I gotta get that one off. Okay, <laughs> there's my current code. There is my, um, here are the cards. There is my website. Um, let's see, we've talked about the um, retired list, lots of discounts. I know a lot of you guys have taken advantage of that. Thank you, um, myself included. And there is, um, the uh, welcome home or welcoming window at home that is um, open right now. And then I'm going in person on April 7th for um, Forget Me Not class. There's two options if you're local to my area, 10 a.m. to noon, and then an evening class that is um, 6 to 8 p.m. Central Time. So Betsy says, sending chocolate card would be a cute Easter card too. Oh yeah, send it to me with chocolate in the box. Okay. Okay. Oh good, I'm glad you liked it, Mary Jo. I'm glad you liked it, Luann. Good, Veda, thanks. Awesome. So, um, so that in-person class, and then we have coffee class. I'm thinking that... Um, Oh my gosh, my son's on there. There's chocolate? I can. You don't like chocolate. Oh, you don't like chocolate cake. I had a bowl of chocolate here, but my friend Sandy was here. Um, Sandy lives just oh, a few miles from me. 
at home and she actually is here in Inglewood. So um, we got together, we had um, club together uh, Wednesday and um, had a good time and ate all the chocolate. So the chocolate is gone, chocolate's gone. Yeah, 10 to noon, it says 9 a.m. Oh, cause I'm in Florida. 10 to noon. I'm going to try to change it. It's because it's on my time here. Even Ethan's in. Yeah, I know. Ethan's never gone to my lives because he should be working, but he's not. <laughs> Go back to work, Ethan. Um, he misses his mom. That's what it is. They'll miss their mom. Oh, Eva, that's nice to know. I will change it because um, I want it to be 10 to noon. Will that work for you? Um, I hope it will because, um, yeah, nine, nine will probably be a smidge early for me to get everything ready. Then as far as coffee class goes, I think I'll probably start going in person, um, at least for a little while. Cause in May, half of May, starting on the 15th, I'll be, um, on, on the incentive trip for Stampin' Up. So I won't be available. So, okay. So how do we do on time? 1132. Well, I started a minute late, so not bad, not bad. Yes, Jenny, go back and watch later because you'll see this fun mechanical fold. So there's the, the idea. Um, the person that I should um, credit for this is um, a gal that she's not stamping up. Her name's Jenny Mag Jennifer McGuire. Um, I'm kind of, uh, I kind of like what she does. And she did hers with rainbow. So what she did was she took rainbow strips of paper and covered this with rainbow. Um, very, very pretty, but that was going to be a lot of strips of paper. So hopefully, I want to see if you can see the wink. Ah, see that the light? Mm, too much light. I don't think you can see it, but you sure can in person. So, all right. Any questions on um, how I did that? What's everyone doing this weekend? I keep forgetting what the day is. That's what happens when you're on vacation. You just forget. I asked my husband, what day is it? He goes, I don't know. Yes, I want you to work while I'm relaxing in Florida. <laughs> He's going to go pout. You're so funny, Ethan. If you're on vacation, we tell you we're on vacation. Ethan works for us, so that's why he's, he's holding down the fort and uh, doing stuff. But I know you guys haven't had the best weather. So um, we're going to be doing some fishing this afternoon. And um, then tonight it's, um, oh, it's your grandson's birthday. Great. Planning a party. Abby's planning a party. Thanks, Kelly. Um, then uh, tonight it's yoga, sunset yoga on the beach um, with my neighbor across the street. There's five of us going over there. Um, Vita's traveling back home. Okay. Yeah, we're coming home, Jenny, next week sometime. We haven't nailed it down yet. We're not sure. It just depends on, um, the weather was a little cool, so it depends on how much time that we have, um, to go fishing in the kayak. So, um, Abby, Kelly wants an invite. You have to give her some notice though, because she's got a little bit of a drive or a plane ride. Uh, Luann's watching your granddaughter play volleyball. Awesome. Do you get to go in person then or is, do you have to watch virtually? I'm hoping things open up. Now, I might have told you this before. I was a little worried about coming to Florida because it's an un, you know, it's a non-mandated mask state, but I've been very pleased. Um, people are wearing masks everywhere. Even like I said, out at the farmer's market, everyone had a mask on. You go to the grocery store, everyone has masks on. Um, so it's not, not been an issue at all. So it makes me happy too. So, all right, everybody, I'm going to sign off for now because now I'm just chattering and I hope everyone has a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching late, keep commenting because remember I, um, oh, I'll tell you about that in a minute, Vita. Um, remember I pick somebody here by the end of the weekend. Sometimes it's Monday morning. Um, and I send you the card. So, um, that if I don't have your address, if I don't, um, if you're not on there, then um, I will send you a PM. So don't worry. And the pedal kayaks, Vita asked about the pedal kayaks. So they are amazing. Um, I can take pictures, drink my drink, and just pedal. And that's where I have strength in my legs. My arms, not so much. So um, I don't have, you know, the pain across my shoulders. So it's like, it's not quite like riding a bike, but it's similar. So we went out pretty far um, a couple of days ago and I didn't have any issues. So it's, that's really good. The only 
issue you have is the water is very shallow here, even out in Charlotte Harbor, which is a big, massive um, harbor of water, and it's shallow. You could just jump out and you might be in 18 inches, but sometimes you come across an oyster bar and you're like stuck. So because the um, petals stick down, you can't see what I'm saying, but they stick out of the water, you know, so much, or down under the water, then sometimes you have issues. So, But otherwise, we love them. We're going to bring them home so we can try the the uh, Homer Lake and uh, the Salt Fork River. So we'll see. So I will see everyone on Tuesday. I'll still be here on Tuesday for Teach Me Tuesday. And I will um, probably be back the next week. And then we'll be in person on April 7th and uh, watch for Emmy's three C's in person. I, I'm dying to bake you something. So I hope that you can come and um, especially if you're vaccinated, we're all vaccinated and feel comfortable. I want you to feel comfortable. So if you don't feel comfortable, I totally understand. And um, I may try to do, still do an online portion for you that aren't. So I want to be sensitive to that. So, okay, well, I'll talk to you all later. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.